Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie a very simple nymph pattern and this is called the Near Enough. The hook that I have in the vise is a size 14. This fly you can tie from size 8 to 14 and I have 15 wraps of 15 thousandths lead free wire on there. I started, vi started video and my phone rang and I had to answer it so that's why there's lead on there already or lead free wire on there. We're going to use black thread. Very simple fly. There's only two materials here. It is a mallard flank or a wood duck flank and a gray dubbing. I'm going to use beaver for it. Now I put my thread on and when you reach the thread you want to hold those lead wraps in place so you don't push them back. And then we're going to come to the rear and we're going to put several wraps at the rear and that's going to secure it into place. Bring our thread to where it would hang at the barb or just about maybe just inside the point. Now I'm going to take a the mallard flank dyed wood duck tan and we're just gonna pull those all out and find a good one here there we go that's actually a pretty decent one right there you want one that the tips of the barbs are pretty uniform pretty even so shorter ones and shorter ones and long ones on the so that they're all even there I'm going to go ahead and take away the fluff on this pull them off now for the tail I'm going to take a little bit off of each side so that way I can keep the keep the top section even you can see this this uh, feather here this side is shorter than this side but we're gonna go ahead and pull those off trying to keep those tips aligned and they marry together pretty pretty nicely we're gonna make this tail about half the length of the hook shank go ahead and give it a loose loop pull it straight down and then I'm going to go forward with it and I'm gonna wrap all of this in and this is going to cover some of the lead wraps when you get to the front you could go ahead and pull it back and you won't have to cut any of that I'm gonna make a little bit of more of a taper on the front here there we go and we bring it back to the tail and I'm gonna turn it upside down so I can get my fingers in there I'm going to take my gray dubbing and it is beaver and we're going to make our noodle Keep a skinny skinny noodle but you can actually make it long because you're going to need a pretty decent amount and now we're going to wrap this I'm going to go ahead and give it one wrap underneath the tail and now you ensure that you're all the way to the rear and we're going to wrap this forward and I need just a little bit more. There's a guard hair there. And we're going to wrap this last little piece of noodle. There I kind of got rid of that step that was there with the front 
lead wrap. Now I'm going to take my our mallard flank. I'm going to hold the tip and I'm going to pull the hackles back or the barbels back. And I'm going to take that tip out of there. And just put it on the side. You could use it for another fly. You could use it for a tail or you could actually use it for a wing on a dry fly. And now just go ahead and pull those feathers back forward. And we're going to tie this in. I'm going to actually tie it in down here or at the stem. And then I could go ahead and pull this to the length we want for our legs. Give it a couple of securing wraps there. I'm going to trim this off. And now we can divide our legs. We're just going to take half of it and pull them to our side. It should be fairly easy to get those divided because you took the stem out of the front or you took the tip out. Yep. Now we'll come back. There we go. I'll get that other side going back and then I can get them all. A couple more on this side. There we go. And here we have our legs. We've got a couple wild ones there I'm going to take out. There we have our legs. Now I'm going to take that piece, that stem that we cut off, and you can see I didn't cut it all the way down, so I'm going to trim that just like this. And now this is going to be our wing case. I'm going to place that on top. I'm going to get a couple of wraps on it lightly and then we can pull that to the length that we want and then we can secure it going to go ahead and trim that off Got a little guard hair sticking out there Now if you end up with a head that's a little bit long, just go ahead and take another little, a small pinch of the dubbing and just put a wrap or two in front of your legs. And then we can tie off that head. Clean it up and tie it off. Take our whip finish, go over the thread, around the camel hump, bring it back. Invert it, we have our X, we'll bring it down. Once, twice, three, four times, three to five. Tighten that up, take your poke and snip. Now we're gonna put some head cement on there. Before I put the head cement on, I, I have a few uh, guard hairs and things going out the front. Just hit that with the lighter. Take our head cement. Put that right on the head there.
And here we have the near enough. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies for me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it there, just send me a message. Tell me what you're looking for and we'll figure things out. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.